Okay, guys, the sun is setting, and hopefully, it's going to be setting on my Mini Z collection and on unboxings. We're finishing off the last of the fair, the few rare Kyosho Mini Zs. And right, here we go. So, this is the second to last. Yeah, because we're going to do this, and then we're going to go back to the one that I had finished in the first series, and then we're done. Okay, right. Okay, so guys, right, remember, I don't know if you recollect, but in the last few videos, I was talking about a police car. Um, that's a Porsche 911 that I'm gonna, well, it's a Porsche 911 that's in black. You hardly find them in black. And I'm gonna hopefully convert this to a police car because I remember Need for Speed, there was a Porsche police car in there as well. And the McLaren is my main go-to police car, but I'm gonna have some other ones as well because the Chevrolet Caprice, so the sunshine's coming in, right? Uh, getting that right, a hazy kind of look, right? All right, noise. The Chevrolet Caprice isn't equipped to hunt down, oh, my wheels just come off. Hunt down, chase down uh, supercars. So, this is where this little bad boy kicks in, okay? So what I'm thinking, put your wheel back on, mate, falling apart. So what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna, um, get some vinyl wrap, white, put it on the door, put it on the roof, put it on the bonnet, put it on the front maybe, spoil it and back, and then police decal it out, and yeah, and have a police Porsche. So a bit like the Dubai kind of theme where they've got supercars, police cars, I'm gonna have that in my Mini Z chasers, guys. So stay tuned for that, and obviously, you know, I've told you that I'm gonna be doing the Mazda as well. That's going to be part of my police fleet, but that's in the Japan race versions. Okay, right guys, this little beggar here is the whole reason it all kickstarted again. I saw this guy and thought, oh my goodness, that looks so crazy. I like my i 8s Anyway, that's his cousin over there. This is another one from uh, GL. This is the R8 LMS. Obviously, you can't really see much of it here. I don't get the Daffy Duck business, but... It was crazy, man. It looks so mean. Obviously, you've got all the angles of the R8 on the box. But let's get it out. And I won't manage to start tearing the box up. Yeah. I think uh, not my hands that made for... So, you know, let's do a proper reveal. Okay, so have a look at this, guys. Here we go. So this little bad boy kick-started it all off again. I saw this and thought, whoa. That needs to be in my collection. Then the gold plated one came up quite a bit later, but it was the deep dish wheel, guys. Look, I have not come across many mini Z's with black deep. Oh, look at that front. That is one mean looking car. It is mean, isn't it, guys? It'll obviously crazy on the display stand. Oh man, <laughs> I need to close these blinds. Sunshine's coming in properly. Okay, so I don't get Daffy Duck called DoubleDuck.com. I think it's some kind of Hong Kong thing. This is a red Hong Kong, Hong Kong something. Oh yeah, there it is. Audi Hong Kong on the bonnet there. Right. If you look at most concept cars, guys, I, you know, I like the shapes of concept cars, even though they make them. But they all have black deep dish wheels. And it does look mean. It gives a completely different effect to the car. Different aura. So I liked that, and I thought, yep. So that little beggar is the reason we're all in this mess again. <laughs> that's it now, we're done. Finished, all right. <laughs> so yep. So, uh, yep, it's the same size as the other guy over there. Pretty similar. And we'll look at them on the display stand, guys. And then out of this little series here, we're gonna uh, unbox the last box and then Flip over to the last one, the last one, because I did like a winding down kind of thing on that one. Um, and then we're going to leave it there, guys. And yeah. Yep. Yep. And I've just got a few more vids I'm going to make, but they're different. They're not about unboxings. But yeah, I'll let you know about them. Okay, let's get on. Okay, guys. So here we've got the GL Racing version of the R8 and this little bugger was the reason that I started this series off as I say I wanted some deep dish black wheels couldn't find them anywhere 
and these guys have brought this out. This is the widest all-wheel drive uh, shell that they do. Because most of the all-wheel drive shells are really narrow. So, yeah, the R8 one. This one's obviously gonna need some crazy offset. Saying that, I've got some crazy offset wheels that are coming anyway, so that'd be interesting. But yeah, these wheels are getting rubbed one time. And the R8 guys is basically an absolute beast. You know, that kind of like sparked me off again. I, I kind of like, I wasn't really crazy about any sports cars for a good while, but when the R8 came out, I was like, wow, that actually looks mean. And the guy that I know who's got a McLaren, he actually says that the R8 is probably the best handling car. I mean, the McLaren, he said, is obviously is taken from a, a performance racing platform, the one that he got made. But he said the R8 has got phenomenal handling, so it's an amazing car. So, yep, so the mid-engine two-seater sports car, and it's got the Audi trademark Quattro permanent all-wheel drive system. And it was introduced by the German automaker Audi AG in 2006. So AG, basically, they've got a high performance private subsidiary company which is called Quattro GmbH. And it's based on the Lamborghini Glado, so this is the platform of this. And the fundamental construction of the R8 is based on the Audi space frame and uses aluminium monocoque, which is built around space frame principles so yeah get that in your head <laughs> oh man it's kind of like funky how you know you get into this stuff and realize that a lot has gone into these cars there's a lot of evolution you know within each company and they're just getting better and better so basically the um this one the six this is a six time winner the 24 hour le mans winner and jackie Ike's described the R8 as the best handling road car today. Told ya! <laughs> I didn't know that guy told me anyway. So yeah. So... What are the specs on it? It's got a V10 engine. And... So right, normally the R8's LMS are only available with typical rear wheel drive setups. Mm. But the one that that guy was talking about was a four-wheel drive one, so he must have had a top-spec one. So yep, yeah, 5.2 litre engine, V10 engine, and it's pumping out 570 horsepower. Wow. 329,000 euros or $445,000. Pocket change, yeah, guys. You know, when I met that guy, I had the McLaren. I went up to him. I see you've only got one McLaren, mate. I've got two. I've got an Audi, I've got Audi R8s as well. And I've got Ferraris, you name them, Lamborghinis. And the guy was looking at my face, he was shocked. <laughs> anyway, later on, I had to tell him they were Minis. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I don't get the double duck stuff, guys, but that is nice, though. It's a nice looking shell, is that, guys? Pull me back in. But anyhow, that was nice. That's what started it off. And at the end, that gold one turned up, and I thought, oh my god, what's wrong with this company? What are they trying to do to me, man? The guys are trying to ruin me, bankrupt me. So, yeah, so that basically yeah, went towards that one as well. But I wanted this one for the wheels. And I like that one for the body shell. That would just look so crazy in a race vid. And I like the decals. It's nice. GL Racing never really... Well, actually, you know, to be fair, I heard about them. They made uh, chassis, I think. They were making some similar to Mini Z cars. I remember them. I remember the name. And some spare parts. But body shells? Nope. So far, I think they've only made the R8. I don't think they made anything else. But phew, they've done a good job. <laughs> Even got decals on the actual... Roof of the car as well, guys. You can see it there. Nice. And as I showed you before, guys, beautiful deep dish. Then we're going on a lot of cars. Okay. Okay, guys. Here we've got my Dark Knight. 
and basically it's a Porsche 911 which I, I think it probably was a lava red and it's basically been painted up so yep I'm, I really am thinking about turning that into a police car I think it'll look pretty cool I'm looking at white on the bonnet and the roof and a bit on the back as well and obviously the doors so they're pretty narrow these uh, Porsches I've been through all the stats of Porsches in my other videos guys so I'm just going to keep this pretty simple but yep I like the look of it I don't know when I saw it I saw the black wheels black car I thought wow and it's matte and it kind of I thought hmm that would actually make an interesting police car so there'll be two that I'm going to be building I've got loads of the original old ones um, which I need to put lights in at the moment but I thought just to jazz things up a little bit make it a little bit different you know we need to get a street machine out there I mean I like I like the way that the UAE and Dubai have got performance cars as their police fleet that's kinda of crazy man and you think we would need that more over here but we don't seem to have anything exotic or too crazy but in my little race world we are gonna have it guys and this is gonna be part of it so I don't think you guys are gonna be that interested in watching me decal and mod that out but when I do I'll probably do um, a quick vid on the Mazda is it 787 or 7B7 I'll make a quick vid of that after I've finished with it and of this one as well guys just so they can see you know because I don't know how early they're gonna be in the videos yet but they will be in there my only concern is the roof because with the McLaren as well the roof was about five centimeters 50 millimeters and the light bar itself is a tad over 50 so that that roof there looks even smaller so it all depends on the light bar if the light bar will fit on there that's fine I'm not worried about the Mazda because I'm going to fit that not on the roof but on the spoiler. But that roof looks a little bit. And the same with the Lamborghini, that's a tiny roof. Otherwise they'd have done one uh, a Lamborghini as a police car. But the roof is just too small and it's going to look proper darky if the light bar is hanging off the, <laughs> hanging off the edges of the roof on both sides. That's not really weird. So yeah, it depends on that. Uh, and I've got a bad feeling that it is too short. Got a bad feeling. I think the light bar is too long. So that's kind of um, buzz killed it. But I'll have a look. Take a look at it. See what we can do. Okay. Get ready for the next vid, guys. Crazier stuff coming along.